Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to be showing you uh, one of my favorite vintage pieces that I currently have in my collection. This is the Citizen 8110 Bullhead Chronograph. Uh, this piece came out in the 70s. This piece originally came out, I believe in 1972. And uh, as you can see, the chronograph functions are on the top, hence bullhead, because it looks like, you know, the horns of a bull. And I first became aware of this piece from the movie Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And if you saw that movie, you would have seen that Brad Pitt had a gold version of this watch on a large leather strap. And I had no idea what kind of watch she was wearing, and as a watch geek, I looked it up after I saw the movie and became aware that it was uh, this type of model, this type of watch. And I had no idea, I had never seen or heard of this watch before that movie. And I instantly fell in love with the just the design of the watch, the dimensions, the fact that it was a high beat movement. I was really intrigued. So I uh, did a little bit of researching, a little bit of searching online, and uh, I took a risk and <laughs> found a model this model on eBay. And as you know, finding uh, vintage watches on eBay is always a gamble because you never know the condition of the watch, whether it's going to run. But uh, I decided to take a chance anyway, and I found this at a pretty good price. And I've had this watch for almost two years now, I want to say. So uh, I am, for a, for a great little watch, for an older vintage piece, I, I'm really impressed with this watch. So Let's go over the dimensions of this watch. Like I said, this is a very small chronograph, which is what I really like about it. The diameter is, I measured 35 and a half millimeters. Lug to lug, I got 39 millimeters. And case thickness is 13 millimeters. And a lug width of about 16 millimeters. It was more like 16 and a half. So I guess you could say 17 possibly, which is kind of an awkward uh, dimension. So in between 16 and 17 was what I got with my calipers. Looking at the dial, as you can see, it's a nice uh, stark white dial. It's got a tachometer around and citizen chronograph automatic. 23 joules and this is a high beat movement 28,800 beats per hour with that smooth sweeping orange seconds hand now it doesn't have an actively running seconds hand only the chronograph functions so um, the sub dials which are great is the you got a 12 hour sub dial a 30 minute sub dial and on the bottom you have a day and date function for the sub dial at six o'clock. So definitely a unique layout. You don't, I haven't seen many of these layouts for a chronograph. So I thought that was pretty cool. Now this piece, the 80, the caliber 8110 does have a flyback function, which means if you press the button, the second hands originally would automatically zero and then start moving again without having to reset it and restart it. But um, the flyback function on this um, specific watch does not work quite as well, just because, you know, it's an older watch and I have no service history on this watch. I don't know if it's ever been serviced, if it's been serviced a while ago, but um, since it's running, it's keeping, it's keeping pretty accurate time. I don't see the need to service it, at least right now. Um, so that's that. So the, it does, if you do find one of these, it does have a flyback function, but, um, I just don't know how well it's going to work unless it's been recently serviced. So let's see, you stop it and this button resets it. And sometimes you have to press this button two or three times to get the second hand all the way to the 12, just because it's an older piece. But for the most part, it works really well. It is supposed to be uh, hand winding, but I'm not sure if mine really does that very well. Um, if you pull the crown out once, you can change the date at the bottom. And if you leave it out and press the chronograph function here, 
you can see, see that changes the day and you have English and Spanish options. And then pull it out for a second one time, you can change the time. So just a really cool watch in general, guys. Let's take a quick look at the back. As you can see, Citizen, water resistant, automatic, GN4-5. Don't know what that means. I'm sure I could look into it, but I haven't. There's the serial model and 8110, which is the caliber movement. So overall, just a really cool watch, guys. And um, if you were interested in getting one of these watches, there are a variety of different models out there. Um, just looking on eBay alone, there are a variety of different dial colors, um, different case shapes. Some of the case shapes are more octagonal in shape. This one has more of a smooth, rounded case design, but there are uh, many different case uh, sizes, uh, shapes, colors. So um, it, it, it was actually pretty interesting. I was really surprised with the variety that you could get this type of watch in. So uh, just be careful if you want to get one of these watches. Make sure it's in a decent shape. See if you can get any information on it before you buy it. Like I said, I just kind of took a gamble with mine and uh, I lucked out with it. Um, the one thing that you might notice is there's like a little bit of like a white fog on the dial right here. And at first I thought it was moisture and I was kind of pissed off, but it is not moisture. So I'm not sure quite what it is. I'm not sure if it's like a scruff from the outside or the inside. Um, but I was able to find a replacement um, crystal for this specific watch. So I am going to eventually try to replace the crystal on this watch. And this will make it look a lot newer. As you can see, it is a little scratched up on the sides but overall i mean for a you know 30 40 plus year old watch it's in pretty good shape so i am very pleased with it and uh, like i said finding a chronograph this size with a high beat is uh in my opinion fairly rare so it's just a great package overall guys so that is my review of the citizen 8110 bullhead chronograph um if you made it to the end of this video guys please hit like and subscribe it really does help a lot and thanks for watching take care